Well, with the attacks in Paris and Bamako, many are questioning the next step for France when it comes to its peacekeeping missions in the Sahel region of Africa. For more perspective on that now, we joined live from Paris by Jose Luengo Cabrera. He is an associate analyst at the European Union Institute for Security Studies. Welcome to Africa Live. So let's start with the Sahel region and France's involvement there. What's the popular opinion in France to maintain these missions? <clears throat> I think it's uh, important to bear in mind that uh, nationwide opinion uh, is difficult to assess at this moment, particularly so early after the attacks um, that were allegedly carried out by different groups with different objectives. Um, so making any links between them is tenuous and coming to conclusions about France's foreign involvement in the Sahel might be misleading. Um, it's important to bear in mind that France's involvement in the Sahel region is long-standing. Um, but has taken a particularly prominent role uh, in the wake of the launch of the Salval operation, uh, in which it's been involved in peacekeeping and counterterrorism operations. Um, in terms of public opinion, whether it will change, it's too soon to tell. Um, but it's important to understand that France's role as a security provider in the region is important and is actually encouraged by the Sahel states themselves. And, and of course, a French withdrawal could be disastrous for the region. What are the repercussions of a pullout? I think disastrous is a bit uh, of an exaggeration, um, bearing in mind that other countries are actively involved in the region, notably not only just the EU member states, uh, but also the US through its African operations. Um, one of the greatest uh, roles played by France, obviously, is in counterterrorism through its Operation Barkhane. Uh, obviously, it is helping and assisting the Sahel G5 states in operations such as border control, border management, and surveillance. Um, so, in any case, a hypothetical pullout by the, by the French, if anything, would be phased and progressive, uh, and the repercussions would simply be uh, a reduced capacity for regional actors uh, to counter terrorist armed groups, um, but also to tackle uh, illicit uh, trafficking routes uh, and also the porosity of its borders. For assistance from the European Union when it comes to these peacekeeping missions, does the EU have the capacity to assist and which countries will likely answer the call? Uh, well, indeed, the uh, French defense minister last week uh, invoked the mutual assistance uh, aid clause uh, in which it asked for EU member states to help them in their missions in the Sahel, the Central African Republic and the Levant. Uh, it's important to bear in mind that the U European Union is already heavily invested uh, in capacity building in the Sahel region, uh, as well as counter-terrorist uh, activities, uh, both uh, with bases in Niger and Mali, uh, but also training missions. Um, so it's actually boosting the capacity of local armed forces. Um, as it stands, as of now, since the attacks, uh, two member states have, been, uh, have gone public in terms of their support towards France, uh, most notably Germany, who is about to take over the uh, Mali training mission, but also Spain, uh, given, that it's, uh, given its involvement in the different EU missions, uh, notably at commander level in the region. All right, Jose Lungo Cabrera, live for us in Paris, many thanks.